Okay, hello all you people out there, this is Michael Between Half Huge, and you're looking to the last of these Dragonite vs. Cousin, Cousin Battles. Alright, so this is on VS Recorder because I actually didn't get it live because the uh, DS Capture was being a butt for some reason, so I just went and recorded the battle video. Anyhow, he's gonna lead off with Scissor, I'm gonna lead off with Kirby, he's gonna use Bullet Punch, and I'm not gonna live that because critical hits. We're off to an awesome start here. Anyway, Nurse Joy is coming in, and I think Nurse Joy should take the Bullet Punch pretty well. I don't remember if I EV train this thing in defense or, special, or physical, special, whatever defense. Uh, in any case, I do have, I think that's the maximum HP, it's either maximum or close to it. And Scissor gets paralyzed, which is quite nice. I uh, get some HP back from leftovers, and that brings me down to 4! Four, 4 out of those uh, 714 HP, awesome, leftovers. I use softball, I'm just trying to stall out some of these uh, paralysis turns, or rather lack there of paralysis. And he's gonna withdraw uh, and send an Espeon. I guess he was predicting a Stealth Rock, and unfortunately he predicted correctly and bounced those back at me, so that's not very much fun. I can deal with that. In any case, um, I'm going to be switching out here because I can't do beans to this Espeon, I don't have any attack moves on me. And I'm going to bring in my own Espeon, and you're going to use Psy Shock, and that's uh, that's going to be a pain. Now here, um, you're going to use Signal Beam, and that's going to bring me down to a somewhat low HP. I'm going to use Toxic, and I thought I heard somewhere, probably Boldopedia, that if I have Magic Bounce as well, um, his magic bounce will be uh, negated, and, it won't, and the toxic won't be bounced back at me. And unfortunately for me, that's apparently incorrect. I don't know where I read that. I don't know if I misread it or something. I don't know if I was asleep when I read it. Or just, I don't know. But that's not what happens, and I basically just lost myself an Espeon. Anyhow, switching into um, to this guy, Ian, Super Ian. I meant to call him Super Ian, but unfortunately, um, I don't have time to change the nickname. Um, Rotom's gonna send up uh, one of those fancy. Um, what's those called? Uh, will o wisps and that's gonna be a little bit of a headache for me, although not really because I have natural clear in soft world. So he's gonna send in a SBN once again. I'm going to switch out into a fork. Uh, wonderfully not getting affected by those whatever they're called stealth rocks because of my fancy magic art ability. And Shadow Ball is going to go and do not very much damage to a scissor. So I'm gonna switch out because I don't want to risk the bullet punch and not being paralyzed and stuff like that. You go and use Bug Bite. Apparently, um. I know, then again, I couldn't have done anything to him otherwise, even if I did get to avoid the bolt punch. Uh, send in Skarmory, eating up that bug bite really nicely. Um, let's see, he's gonna go and switch out to Breloom. I don't have leftovers on this thing, apparently. I don't know what uh, held on him I gave this, uh, this Skarmory here. I'm gonna use Spike, so get a little bit of entry hazard up. He's gonna use Spore, and that's gonna be a bit of an issue for me. Um, so he's at plus two, he can basically do whatever he wants to me here, and uh, Fortunately, I get the first turn wake up. If I didn't get the first turn wake up, that could have been that could have been a bit of an issue. Send in Scissor once again. That's probably the best Pokemon I could have randomly chosen to send uh, send out to me, because Scissor's paralyzed. You can't do anything to Skarmory anyway. So sending in Espeon, um, you're gonna set up a Reflect. I can't go and use Roar on you because Magic Bounce. So I'm just gonna go for a Night Slash. Don't ask me why I decided to go and um, uh, breed Night Slash onto my Skarmory, but apparently it saved my butt there because it got a critical hit and killed Yes Man. That's one massive headache aside. So Braylon is coming in next. Espeon is coming in, uh, trying to get advantage of the Spore, but unfortunately um, I forgot that I didn't have enough HP to survive that, and he was going to use Mach Punch anyway. So I'm going to send in Fork, and he's going to withdraw into Rotom. And Rotom is going to take a Psychic. Let's see, how well is he going to take the Psychic? Uh, not very well, and that brings him almost down to dead. And I think I should be faster, and I am faster, and that's going to go and kill the Rotom. So that's another headache out of the way for me. So Sizz is going to come in. I, have, I obviously can't stay in here, um, risking the bullet punch. I think I can kill him with Psych at this range, but I'm not sure. Uh, you're paralyzed in any case, so uh, that didn't really do anything. Bullet punch is going to be not very effective, it's not going to do all that much for me. Okay, I have Rocky Helmet, and Night Slash is going to not go and KO. Okay, so if the, if the, um, if the Reflector wasn't there, that might not have happened, but in any case, uh, yes, another critical hit when he really didn't need it, and Ian went down. And Scissor went down too, because Rocky Helmet's fun. So Braylon's going to come in, and fortunately that Focus Ash that I think he has is going to be negated because of the spikes. And Mew is going to come in, and uh, Mew is going to go and take that Psychic pretty well because it's Mew. Uh, that was about a third of its HP, so Psychic from an Alkazam didn't really do all that much. Reflecta went down. Fortunately for me there's no Light Screen because uh, Espeon died before it could get it up, and Shadow Ball goes and takes Mew down. Now, um, let's see, you got any other Pokemon left? Oh, speaking of uh, spikes and Focus Ashes, Ice Shard, that's going to do a bit of damage to Alakazam, because Alakazam is kind of bad physically. Uh, I'm going to use Energy Ball there, and that's going to be enough to take down the, sh the Cloister. Have I been calling it a Shellfish this whole time? I don't know, I've been reading the nicknames, people. Uh, lastly, uh, Breloom's going to come in, use Mach Punch, that's not going to kill uh, this guy, 
barely just not gonna kill this guy admittedly but it's not gonna kill him in either case and the psychic is gonna take him down so uh, I defeated Gregory that's one for me I think that was close I think that was 1-0 in any case uh, I don't have any more battles here but I do hope you enjoyed this uh, series that I uploaded kind of rapid fire rate comment subscribe watch some of the stuff I've uploaded and I will see you all later